414.2 i gained 9.2 pounds i just want to say it could have gone completely worse than that i'm actually grateful that that's all i've gained but again starting completely fresh my new starting weight 414.2 and i don't want to hear anything else again about my weight gain weight loss it's all in the past i'm living in freaking florida i'm starting completely fresh i have the cutest scale in the world like just start over but like there's no reason to live in the past when it comes to old weight loss journeys this is going to be completely different well, you know what time it is. It's another fat chick video. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, but if you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle McDaniel, I'm a personal trainer. A proud mother of a pug and a chihuahua. A past theater nerd got a Corona cosplayer, and this is my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you, where I share my thoughts that will probably offend at least one person. Will you be the lucky person today? Today we're talking about the woman who has tried every single diet and has failed. TikTok. She really doesn't need to have an introduction, but her name is Amberlynn Reed, and she's basically a YouTuber who has a channel that started as a weight loss channel and then ended as a weight gain channel and a mukbang channel. And I'm gonna try this diet, and oops, I guess I failed. Whoopsie, oops, oh no, whoops. That's basically her channel in a nutshell. And she's just a very interesting, pr okay, I'm, just, I'm lying. I haven't watched her channel in a while, but when I do, I feel like I'm watching a behind the scenes version of my 600 pound life. Like what they do when TLC is not there filming them. Or like 1,000 pound sisters, raw, real, uncut. She just eats a lot. So, you guys, ah! I have lobster, rangoon, and a spicy California roll. Got a bunch of wings. Oh wow, that's a hill, I'm good. And cries a lot. I just am so upset with myself. <laughs> and then goes on a diet, and then quits a lot, and then repeats the whole process. So that seems to be what people are into. People love to see her fail, um, jerks, but also, she fails a lot. Anyway, instead of her YouTube channel, I wanna go through her TikTok channel. It's what all the kids are talking about. TikTok is the new thing. And I wanna be hip, I wanna be cool, I wanna talk about TikTok. It's hip, it's coral, it's so the account is called Curvy Calories. Yep. Uh, we will get to that at the end of the video. Just keep in mind that it's called Curvy Calories. Or it was. Now, without further ado, my audience, here is Amber Lynn's TikTok escapade. Or something like that. Hey guys, so I really just wanted to film this real quick. I just want to say that my name is Amber Lynn Reed. I am 29 years old. And I want to make this TikTok for my weight loss journey. So let's do this. Uh, it didn't work out like the way that she wanted it to work out. So let's do this. It pretty much worked out the way that her, the way that her YouTube did. If you guys are looking for a way of losing weight, I recommend Weight Watchers. It is a point focused diet, if you want to call it a diet, and it teaches you to choose healthy over unhealthy. All right, like it's like a little awkward. I'm just gonna say it because she failed this diet. I recommend Weight Watchers. Why is she recommending something that she failed? I mean, I guess you can. I'm sure it's very helpful to like some people who try Weight Watchers, but in her case, it did not help her. It's, it's just like, she's like, this is great. This is gonna work. This is amazing. And it teaches you to choose healthy over unhealthy. I really recommend this diet. You guys should do it. Next video, she's like this. So with Weight Watchers, it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy and it teaches you to choose healthy over unhealthy. Amber, girl, try the diet and by try, I mean uh, do it for at least like three, four months. See if you can stay consistent with it and then you tell people that it's amazing and you're gonna do this. For a way of losing weight, I recommend Weight Watchers. Or the people who love to watch you fail are just gonna say how wishy-washy you are and how you can't stick to literally anything. It was allowing me to weasel in a pint of ice cream. Um, I had McDonald's 20 piece nuggets twice in five days. I mean, did Weight Watchers tell you to eat all that? They didn't tell you to eat chicken nuggets. In five days. You can't blame Weight Watchers on that. Pause break, because this speaks to my personal training heart. I had a client. She was one of my worst 
clients. I can't stand her. Till this day, I get triggered just thinking about her. But on my plan, I had a healthy recipe for pizza. Everything was weighed out according to what I had. And I always tell clients, you have to weigh out your food. You know, whatever you are making, you have to weigh it out because it just, you need to help weigh your food in grant. And week after week, I saw pizza like in her program and it stuck out to me because I was like, oh, okay. So you're using the meal plan that I have in the program. She's like, oh yeah, it's great. I love that. It's so like diverse. It's awesome. So week after week though, she wasn't losing any weight. She still had the obese. Nothing was budging. In fact, she I think she put on a few pounds. So after about three months, I'm looking at her, you know, measurements, getting weighed pictures. She looks bigger. I look through the journal and I'm just like looking at some stuff, like just being more like, what's going on here? You say you're following everything and she's just puts her hands on her hips. She's like, I think it's the pizza that you said that I have. I said, really? The pizza? It's too greasy. She's an older woman. And I'm like, my pizza's too greasy? What are you putting on it? I don't know what they put on it. It's from Costco. What? You said that I can eat pizza. You said that. I wish that I could go back to my younger self and tell that woman, fuck you. But instead, my dumb ass was like, you know what? Let me just give you all your money back for the for this program. I don't want to train you. Now anyone try that shit with me with 30 year old Michelle, I'm going to say fuck you. Follow the actual plan. Stop blaming everybody else and keep your pudgy little hands on the food that I told you that you can eat. If you don't want to do that, don't blame me. Blame yourself. You're fat because of your own self and your own fingers reaching for food that I told you not to get. That's making you fat. And you're not getting your money back. Well, the biggest struggle in my opinion with losing weight for my journey is not knowing how to say no. Oh my God, Amber. But yes, it's not anyone's fault but yours and Johan reaching out for food that you know you're weak toward. Look at her face. Oops. Whoopsie. Uh-oh. Another oopsie, guys. I guess I couldn't say no into walking to my car and then starting the car and then driving all the way to Dairy Queen. Whoop. I couldn't say no, you know, as I spoke the words through my own mouth to the very nice worker that takes my order. I couldn't say no to myself still. Whoops. What are you going to do? Even when they handed it to me, I could have just been like, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need it. But I said, oops, whoops, let me just shoot. At least she's taking accountability. I just had a blizzard, a Heath blizzard from Dairy Queen. Okay, let me just say, I have never gone to Dairy Queen, but I am an Oreo shake connoisseur and I am someone who also loves Heath bar. Holy shit, why haven't I had one of those? Probably because I never went to Dairy Queen, but I can eat so many Heath bars. You chop that shit up, put it in ice cream, it's over. <laughs> Five years from now, me and Amber Lynn hanging out, we the same size. I probably should not discover Heath Bar shakes because lots of ice cream condensed in a small cup with added full fat milk and candy and whipped cream on top. <laughs> Delicious mix, but dangerous for my arteries. And I regret it. Okay, just a little tip from a past binger who was never told no when it came to food. If I wanted to, I could wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning and go eat a whole pack of Oreos. And my mom would be like, as long as you don't make a mess, I don't care. Do you want ice cream or, or milk with it to wash it down? And I would say, yes, mommy, that would be great. I'm gonna go watch cartoons with my Oreos. I was never told no. I didn't have parents. I'm sure Amber Lynn didn't have parents that were like managing their sugar intake. So kids, when your parents are managing your sugar intake, thank them. I didn't have that. I wish I did. So it's very hard for someone like me and probably someone, well, as you can see, someone like Amber to tell herself no. That's even harder. I just had a blizzard. Blizzard. Because you have to have self-control. No one else is gonna tell you no except for you. And if you can't do that, honey, you're gonna eat everything. As she does. Guys. So something that did help me, as you can see, she said, oh, I regret it. And I regret it. I regretted a lot of things when I would eat something. Like I really, really wanted something. It was sugar cravings, you know, coming hard. And then your hands just snatch it and you eat it quick. And then after you're like, why the hell did I do that? I really reminisced on that feeling. What did I feel like after I ate that whole pack of Oreos? Did I feel good about myself? Not at all. So I would think back to that and then I would think to the present. Huh, there's a whole bag of hot Cheetos and cream cheese in front of me. I really wanna take those hot Cheetos and dip it in, sit on the couch and watch cartoons as I do it. But how am I gonna feel after I finish the whole bag? Because we all know that's what I'm gonna do. Probably like shit. And just reminiscing and thinking about how I would feel after I would binge or eat something that I really didn't need really helped me cut down on added calories that I didn't want. There's some information that you didn't ask for, but you can do whatever you want with it. Anyway, speaking of Cheetos, I see him on Amber's page.
what is going on here? <laughs> Why did she post this? She's got Cheeto Puff. That's cake frosting right there. I know cake frosting when I see it. Are you serious? <laughs> I love cake just as much as I like hot Cheetos and Oreos. And I'm sure she took off the frosting to make it less calories. Something I did when I knew I was just gonna slurp it up anyway. And there's cookies. That looks like a throwback traditional Michelle binge. She even has the milk because I cannot have cookies, cake, or anything else without my milk. Anyway, a reoccurring theme on her TikTok page is like squishing her face together. Okay, so look, there's another one. Bad guy. Wait, hold on, I messed up. Let me try again. Bad guy. Duh. I'm guessing it's a TikTok trend. Uh, you TikTok enthusiasts have the most interesting trends on that app. Okay, you guys, everyone, here's the new trend for this month on TikTok. You're gonna squish your fat together. Yeah. Yeah. Only to reveal that you still have multiple chins. Whoa. I don't understand the trend, but if it makes you guys happy and fulfilled and you guys are having fun, it's not hurting anyone. Go ahead, but I don't get it. Millennial trying to understand millennial TikTokers. Anyway, there's another squish face. After all this time, I'm still into you. I, I just don't get it. I should be over all the blood Okay, can all you TikTokers too explain to me, please? I am willing to learn. I know the thing on TikTok is to lip sync and we all know that I like to make fun of that. It's probably because I'm a stuck up ass theater freak that believes that you can at least just try to sing or act something out. But I just don't understand if you're going to do the lip sync thing, if that's the thing. Cause after all this time, I should be over. Why can't you guys actually sync it? I should be over. It's not that hard. You're not singing, you're not speaking, but I feel like so many people like can't sync the word. If you're gonna be a TikTok star, do it right. That was good. I think the lip sync there was a lot better than the first like. Into you. I should be over. Maybe because our face was just squished together, it's hard to lip sync when your face is so squish in. So she also does like clap back TikToks where people make assumptions about her or they like leave her a comment it's very similar to the question thing in Instagram. Bed bounce and she broke up with Jenny Craig and the cycle continues and she gets very spicy. Stop. What the hell are you talking about? Get my pretty name out of your mouth. I mean, it's half wrong. She's not bed bound. She, just, she does a lot. She's doing like the little TikTok dances. I'm, I'm pretty much up my buttons, baby. She's shaking her booty and dropping it low. Now from the top, make it drop, that's some wet. She's honestly doing a lot more than what I thought she could do. I completely judged her wrong. For now, if she continues doing what she's doing, she, she'll be where I thought she was. But for now, I completely misjudged her. I didn't think she could like, move very much. Now from the top, make it drop. So part of the comment was true, but the bed bound part, she's not there quite yet. Hopefully she gets her shit together and she does not get to that point. We are Tyra Banks rooting for you, Amber. At least I am. I know there's other people out there that like want her to fail. Or maybe they just gave up on her. I don't know. So it's honestly been a while since I checked into Amber Lynn. Like I said, her content is very repetitive. It's new diet and this is great. Then never mind. I ate Dairy Queen or Cheetos. Whoops. To, oh, I just want to lose weight. And then it just keeps going on and on. And it seems like her TikTok is not very different from her YouTube. She has comments turned off for obvious reasons. Like I said, people love to watch her fail and I'm sure the comments can get very mean I'm sure most of them just make fun of her but anyway like I said in the beginning of this video some of the videos were titled curvy calories but then when I looked up her actual account on TikTok, it was just rarity cat with two Y's just like her Instagram handle so I was like okay so the curvy calories thing is probably from a fake account that takes all of her videos and re-uploads it so that people can make fun of her and comments on whatever's going on. But then because I'm just a naturally curious person and I wanted to know more about her recent YouTube saga, she said this. Hey guys, welcome to day one of Curvy Calories. What the hell is curvy calories, Amber? I became very interested, so stay tuned. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, because we are going to enter the saga of Amber Lynn's YouTube 2021 edition. Remember, you do not have to be a size two. Having big oh. biceps is great to have to scare away all the boys, but not needed to be healthy. But health is very important. I want everyone to be as healthy as their little hearts can be. If you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and sitting your little tushy down with me for a little bit and just spending time with Mama Michelle. If you want 
more of all of this, you can follow me on Instagram where I am very alive and active on, and also Twitter and TikTok where I post once a year. Have a good day and bye bye bye. You guys know I had to put some kind of like 90s flair in there. Okay, bye. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.